So let's consider another example of Newton's third law, the idea of capacity versus ability. Um, why are you not required to wear a seatbelt while riding on a bus? We know that in the state of Michigan, at least, you're required to wear a seatbelt. But why do we not need to do that in a bus? So let's see if we can consider why that's the case by looking at these four different uh, scenarios in which a bus might collide with another object. So notice in every one of these scenarios, I have the same bus moving at the same speed. Over here, I have four different objects that the bus will collide with. Uh, hypothetically, all traveling at the same kinds of speeds. Now, um, the idea behind capacity versus ability is that this bus has a tremendous capacity to exert force. It's got a lot of mass. It's got a lot of, of speed. You name it. It's got a lot of those things. So the faster it's moving, more likely it's going to exert more force when it collides with something. The more massive it is, the more force it will exert. But since it's the same in every one of these situations, we need, you need to now consider the fact that it's also going to be interacting with something else. These things also have mass. They also have speed. Now what's different here is that even though they all have the same speed, you notice they all have different masses. When these things collide, let's consider that the bus is going to collide with the car. What we would see is that we would have a certain amount of impact force. Okay, so each of these are going to experience the same amount of force, right? These are going to be pairs. That's the force of the bus on the car. This is the force of the car on the bus. Equal but opposite, okay? If I were to collide that bus with this truck, what we're going to see is that that collision force will be bigger than it was in the previous example. Okay, so these, the force of the bus on the truck uh, and the force of the truck on the bus are going to be equal but opposite, but notice the size difference is, uh, is quite a bit different. Let's consider all the way down here on the B. Um, if the bus hits the B, there's going to be a very small <laughs> impact force okay so very small and as a matter of fact it's it's so small i would have a hard time actually drawing it uh, anything close to scale um so these forces would actually be quite a bit smaller notice that the amount of force that's exerted is not the same in any of these situations it's all different not because of the bus being having any different properties it's because of the object that we're interacting with has different masses now, the reason we don't uh, have to wear seatbelts is that we're hoping we don't collide with a semi-truck. If we collide with a semi moving at 20 miles an hour, the person inside this bus or the people inside that bus are going to be in, in danger. And the reason for that is that the forces of collision here will end up being a lot greater. Okay, so now these forces will be very large. Okay, so those forces of collision, the force of the bus on the semi, the force of the semi on the bus, will be much larger. So what we're hoping for when you're on a, on a, uh, on a bus is that you, if you're going to collide with something, you don't collide with something that is incredibly massive so that you're in a s somewhat safe situation here. So those people don't need to wear a seatbelt. There won't be a very large force acting on the bus, which means that the bus won't accelerate at a great rate. The passengers sh should be somewhat safe. If you were to collide with something like this, you would certainly be in trouble. The capacity of that bus to exert force is the same in all cases. The ability depends on what it is that it's interacting with. Newton's third law says forces always come in pairs. There's two objects inv involved in every pair. The force of interaction is a function of both objects. Largely, it's going to depend on the masses of those objects. It could certainly depend on other uh, attributes as well. How fast those objects are moving, how much cushioning those objects have uh, sort of designed into them and so forth.